The football home of both the Jets and the Giants. MetLife Stadium, East Rutherford, New Jersey. Tonight the team plays boys. host Shimon to a Nimitz massive a hockey game. In his Tailgating the and NFL Luke would be proud of. The visiting Philadelphia Flyers rocking it off the bus. It over to the home team, the Jersey boys, they can sing, dance, day, and shoot that puck. Better than 60,000 will be on hand tonight. Those fans who Devil arrived fans, early I am here went with for a Meyer, special Tyler treat. Foley, getting ready Got a pregame concert series by the Jonas Brothers. Got to be exciting to have that game on the schedule at the beginning of the season, but to host one actually. As we welcome you to the Verizon pregame show. The weather forecast, mid-February, at night in New Jersey, and it's cold. Playing here at the MetLife Stadium. Uh, Every great fight has started with the same line. I mean, typically you want to go outside? <laughs> and in <laughs> fact, the Devils and Flyers tonight will play for the yeah, 260th uh, time, but the first time without a roof over their heads. Hi, everybody. Great to see you. I'm Steve Levy. Legendary Mark Messier, P.K. Subban is on assignment. He'll join us in just a little bit. Messi played in every big game this sport has to offer, yet you never got to participate one Explosion of these what'd you miss out on put me in coach i'm signing up for this i can't believe the energy in here i would have loved to play in here just to, for the fact that that's got playoff implications get me in there love the love the whole environment so you're the captain of these teams you're telling your guys hey don't get cut off and all the hype it's just a just another hockey game hell no hell no i'm telling my players to lean into this i'm looking for every advantage i can get i want the player i want the player to experience it i want them to relish in it I want them to get out there and play like free as they can, but what an environment. Put me in. This will be the 40th NHL outdoor regular season game. Here to call it is Sean McDonough. All right, thank you, Steve, and good evening, everybody, from what is ordinarily the football broadcast booth here at MetLife Stadium, right on the 50-yard line. Tonight, we're on the red line for the first NHL outdoor game ever played in the state of New Jersey. It becomes the 17th state to host an outdoor regular season NHL game. It'll be in front of about 67,000 people, including our Ray Ferraro, who's down at ice level between the benches. And Ray, for most of these players, it is going to be their first stadium series game. It's quite a bit to adjust to. It, there really is. I mean, the rink size is the same, right? It's 200 by 85, but everything else is a little bit different. The depth perception is something that can't be trifled with. The goalies have to find the puck. The seats are forever away. It's like playing basketball in a high school gym and then going to a, an NBA arena. Nothing looks the same. That's going to be an adjustment early on. And even though the coaches want this to be a fun experience, they have emphasized to their teams what an important game this is. Right now, Philadelphia is in playoff position with 27 games to go. They're in third place in the Metro. The top three in every division make the playoffs. New Jersey is seven points behind in the division in fourth place. So a potential four-point swing here tonight. New Jersey is four points out of the playoffs in the wild card after Detroit beat Calgary today. Philadelphia's success, Ray, a surprise to many. Some say they don't have an elite player. They would argue Travis Konechny is. Yeah, their all-star leads them in goals, assists, and points. He's got 26 goals, five of them shorthanded for a very dangerous team when they're down a man. Konechny's an energizer buddy. Ta John Tortorella, their head coach, says when he stays out of the antics, he's really effective. There's Jack Hughes back in the lineup for his sixth game. He missed 16. He's a game-breaker. Averages over four shots Lots of game, and as the Devils try to climb back into a playoff spot, their number one guy is back. And a moment ago, Jack Hughes and his teammates found out who was starting for them tonight from the former Devils defenseman, P.K. Subban. How about him? How about those Devils? How about those Devils? I don't need this coach. I'm good. Can I get a ski yeet? Let's start with the head coach. He's buff. He's tough. He's Lindy Ruff. He's pretty, and he lives in Jersey City, number 13, Nico Hishauza. He may be Swedish, but damn, he can finish. Yes, for Brett, tit a tat where my boy at? He's long, strong, and down to get the defense on Lucas Hughes. He ain't Dan Marino, but he likes to sip on Pellegrino. John Marino, baby. He's got two cups. And that's a lot, Andre Pallott. 
He breaks laws and maybe Jaws. Kick it on the net, Nico Dawes. Let's go, baby. Let's go, boys. Have a good one. Enjoy the moment. I love you guys. Have fun. Coach, love you, man. Thomas N. DeVito, New Jersey born and raised. The kid from San Bosco Prep has a touchdown! But my friends call me Tommy Collins. How you doing? Hey! hey. Tommy! Hey. hey! Tommy! Kansas City may have Taylor Swift for Jersey to take the DeVitos any day. Manja! People make fun of New Jersey. They got nothing on us. Diners, disco fries, boardwalks. Lawrence Taylor. Taylor Ham. Pork roll. Hey, pork roll. The freaking light bulb. And her. She's ours. What a lady, what a night. Hockey history? Yeah, we got that too. Right across the parking lot is where this guy made good on his guarantee. Ain't that right, mess? Hey, Tommy. I remember it like it was yesterday. He said we will win game six. He has just picked up the hat trick. Sorry, Jersey. Tonight, fans will take bridges, tunnels, and turnpikes to be here. Spins back at her, he scores! Just two scores! Right on cue! Yo, Tommy! Oh, the boss! If we can make it out there, we can make it anywhere. You know who's saying that? Another Jersey boy. The stadium series in New Jersey. Forget about it. And welcome to the 2024 Navy Federal Credit Union NHL Stadium Series from the Meadowlands of New Jersey. A distinct New Jersey flavor in so many ways here tonight. Here's public address announcer Al Murdoch. Welcome to the 2024 Navy Federal Credit Union NHL Stadium Series in New Jersey, featuring the Philadelphia Flyers and the New Jersey Devils. Please welcome the Philadelphia Flyers. Quite a process to get the ice down and ready. It actually began 12 days ago here at MetLife Stadium. The crew has battled some elements, including some overnight snow that lingered into this morning. Ray, we talked to the coaches yesterday, and the teams were able to get out and practice, have a skate with their families, which they cherished. And the coaches just raved about how great this ice is. And taking the ice is Mark Tan Brodeur for the ceremonial puck drop. The great Devils goaltender backstopped them to three Stanley Cup championships. 
691 wins for Vesna's two Olympic gold medals. Other than that, he didn't do much. We had a great gentleman as well, still actively involved in the Devils organization. Of course, those three Stanley Cups were all won right here in the Meadowlands when they first moved from Colorado here to New Jersey. They played across the parking lot in the old Meadowlands Arena for 25 years. Time for the Honda starting goalies. And for the first time in the 40 outdoor games, both starting goalies are rookies for New Jersey. Nico Dawes making his fourth straight start. He's played very well lately. And every bit as busy in the flyer net. Sam Erson, the rookie, who is now clearly the featured goaltender with Carter Hart suspended. Third meeting of the season between these two division rivals. The visiting team won each of the previous two in overtime. Nico Heischer, the captain, out for New Jersey, and the newly anointed captain of the Flyers earlier this week, Sean Couturier, for Philadelphia. Flexes on display tonight. 
In the game of hockey, you know that your opponent is told to attack and drive the net and really get in the eyes of the tender. And for the goaltender, it's really important when there's a lot of traffic in front to make sure they have their eyes. So it's out battling, out working your opponent for those sight lines. He does an impressive job of making that save. New Jersey's got the puck at the defensive end. Clock ticking down here inside the first period. Quick feed to Lawton. Philadelphia's in on the offensive attack now. And he was ready for that save. Here's a blast. Big save just as time runs out. There's the horn. Still 40 more minutes left in regulation time. We'll get to the second period right after this. in this one. How do you sum up the performance? The Devils had a brutal start to the first period. I mean, there was no tempo, no pace, and they didn't know what to do when they got the puck. They turned it over. Man, they're lucky that they are in the score of this game heading into the second. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. Hammers one. Stops him cold. Philadelphia's got it in their own zone. Barabee's got it along the wing. And he makes the save. Goaltender covers it up, and we'll get a reset here. Lots of time left in this period. Still no score in this one. Couturier's won the draw here in the offensive zone. Dives in front of the shot to block it. Way too much congestion blocks that. Quick pass to Sanheim. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Take it along the wall by Drysdale. And now he passes it to Farabee. Pokes it away in his own end. Taken by Marino. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. Oh, he didn't get all of it, but just enough to keep it out of the net. Here's a short pass to Marino. Don't know if he he got all of it. We'll get a face off after the puck stays covered up. Still lots of time left here in this frame. We've still got zeros on the board. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Passes over to Drysdale. Carries it across the line. Driving right to the front. And he came up with a solid stop on that play. You have to be quick in your crease if you want to be able to deny low zone shots. He does that perfectly. Scores! The captain comes through! We don't get many odd man rushes throughout a game, James. You have to capitalize on your opportunity. I thought they executed perfectly. They didn't overpass. The right player took the right shot. New Jersey's broken through and has the game's first goal here in period number two. Well, typically the better team edges out their competitor, and they have been the better team through almost 40 minutes of this game, James. They find a way to get it through. They've trusted the process. They've trusted the game plan. Now it's about finishing. He scores! What a shot! What a pass! It takes hard work in the intangible available for a one-timer in that low slot area. You know it's going to be a grind. You're going to have to fight for your space. He does a great job of it and buries it home. New Jersey's taking a 2 nothing lead after that quick strike. Well, they've been the better team, James, all night long. They've dominated possession. They've been in the offensive zone. They've been first three three pucks, and most importantly, they put a ton on net. Oh, we'll get some tired defenders as icing is the call. Here in the back half of this period, New Jersey's really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. They win the faceoff here in their own end and take possession. 
New Jersey's gained the line and into the zone. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Moves it quickly over to Atkinson. Trying to clear the puck from his own end. They can't escape, but they maintain possession. And that's knocked away in the defensive end by Meyer. Drills them. The Dennis look to start the transition game. Now he takes it over the line. New Jersey's going to play the puck from behind the cage. Blocked in front. Puck picked up by Couturier. Moves it to Sanheim. Takes the feed. Philadelphia's got the puck against the half wall. Made the save on the play. He got all of that one. to the crease, and that's blocked. The Flyers are in transition. Takes the return feed. Along the half wall with the puck. Turns him away! New Jersey's got a hold of it along the wall. Oh, what a violent collision there. He just got railroaded. Closed space so fast and just taken down. Well, there you go, 40 minutes in the books. All right, friends, go grab yourself some water, get hydrated, and then buckle up because we got an exciting third period coming up in moments. Welcome back to EA Sports, the final frame of this one. Just like that, the clock is ticking on period number three. Cheryl, 40 minutes in the books now played. How do you view this one? Philadelphia's got to get the puck, James. I mean, to put it in layman's turn, one, you got to get the puck, two, you got to score. They're not doing either. Tries to dangle, and the puck skips away. Quick feed to Hughes. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Still has possession. Through center along the wing. Broken up with the stick in the defensive zone. From the left side, they gain the zone. Brad's going to play it from the back of the cage. Back to the point it goes. Great glove save! And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. New Jersey's got the edge of the shot department, a big reason why they lead here in this third period. The Devils take possession here inside the offensive zone. The Flyers gain possession along the wall. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. And he can't hang on after that hit. Takes a shot. Gobbles the puck up there with the chest. Marino's on his way down to the ice, almost on one foot. Incredible display of awareness as he's able to get that pass off, which leads to a great scoring chance. Handles it along the blue line. Denies him on the slapper. Oh, making his presence felt with a hit. Puck grab by Drysdale. Slides it over with pace to Frost. Philadelphia's got it in their own zone. Now a quick pass to Cates. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. Pass stolen in the open ice. Centering feed, and that doesn't connect. To the front, just misses. You gotta get a shot on that, James. You get in tight. Scores! That's three in a row! Oh, it's so much easier when you're running in the game and your opponent is chasing, and that's exactly what's happening right now. We see players work on this all the time in practice, James. It's about getting position net front, and then once that puck is coming towards you, you got to get your hands away from the body with great hand-eye coordination. Just get your stick on it. You're not sure where it's going all the time, but this time it winds up in the back of the net. New Jersey's offense has been the story tonight, leading big time here in this third period. Slides the puck across to Pallott. Quick pass to Frost. Good fight for the puck along the boards. New Jersey's got the puck along the wall. Holtz has it in the defensive end. Pushes it across to Frost. And he takes the pass. Right on Main Street and on the attack. Shot attempt completely fails on that. Here's a short pass to Paul. 
can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. Paling's going to play it against the half wall. Oh, fantastic save! Lightning quick reflexes. Great read in the offensive zone by Lawton. And he takes the feed. New Jersey's across the blue line. What a glove save by Erson! Puck is frozen, and we get a stoppage in play. New Jersey's offense has not been a problem tonight. They put a lot of shots on net and lead a big time late in this third period. And they win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. And not much on that one. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. New Jersey's been putting lots of pucks on net all night long, and they continue to lead late in this third period. Hughes wins the offensive side face-off, and here we go. Philadelphia's got a hold of the puck now. Looking for space inside the D zone. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Along the right wall and into the offensive end. Final seconds of this one, and the home fans certainly appreciate that they got their money's worth tonight. Moves the puck over to York. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. And that's it. And the celebration continues. Best of night throughout. And it ends with the most important celebration of victory for the home team. Which gets them the 500 for the year at home. If they're going to make the playoffs, they're going to have to be better when they're back inside of the Prudential Center. An entertaining night, and the, the Devils get a couple of depth goals from Nathan Bastian, a goal from Brendan Smith. Their captain, Nico heischer has got a pair of... Nico Dawes was tremendous, in particular in the second period, as he backstops the Devils to another win. Well, he came, he saw it, he caught it between the pipes tonight. What a performance earning the shutout. Well, yeah, and it's deserved that. I mean, he had to make some key saves to send up that goose egg, James. But I just loved his battle and his complete made it look easy tonight. And the party's not over just yet, Pounder. Look at them here. They come back out onto the ice. You gotta love it. Just a fun night all the way around. And they've stuck around, and they stick around, and so does their team. They come back out on the ice to say thank you and salute them. Thanks so much for joining us. We had a great time. Hope you did, too. For all of us here at EA Sports, I'm James Cebulski. Good night.